Ray, after a, a great result last week up north, a bit of a, a reality check for everyone today. I think it is actually, yeah. Um, I've been saying this all week to the players. I watched Alloa play Dundee United off the park two weeks ago. Um, they are a good side. Um, they've got a really good balance to their team. And you can see that today. But, um, you know, we, we've, we've done extremely well to come from zero points to get ourselves in the park there and to be two goals up. And they make the, the two mistakes that we made today to gift them a point um, is disappointing for me. But, you know, I'm going to have to look at that uh, and that separately from... Um, the overall how we've been doing in the last five or six games because I need to give the players credit for, for what they've done and got us into this position so it's it's to get into that position that's why we're feeling so bad today that, that's the reason so um, but we need to iron that out and uh, we need to keep progressing as a club Positives that you, you can take from today? Yeah the positives are that you know we, we scored two goals and we didn't look like conceding a goal um, very often in the game, um, but we gifted them a goal right on half time that, that gave them momentum. And as I said, they're a good side, they've got good players and good balance to their team. And they took that into the second half, we kept our, we kept our shape well. And I think after 15 20 minutes, I really couldn't see them scoring. And uh, but again, we, we, we've shot ourselves in the foot with some a wee bit of poor defending. I think the referee's got the decision wrong with the, the corner kick 100%. We've just seen it. And they've got their wee bit of luck today um, and then and they scored their second goal, but really poor defending from us at the second goal. They've got a free header in the box, so that's it's just so frustrating. Sometimes when you're, when you're down towards the bottom of the league, it's just that, that little bit of confidence as well that it can cause these things to go either way. Yeah, yeah. Um, that and quality. You know, I think, you know, I can feel the frustration from everybody today. We haven't turned into Barcelona overnight. Um, we are playing against a team that I think has got a good balance to them and, and they've proven it and that's why they've got good points. But for us personally to, to gift them two goals is the frustrating thing for me. Um, the positives are we, we scored two good goals, our shape was good again. Um, I've said this all along, we're going to have to grind all the way to January. Um, but the good thing is we are really disappointed with that today so that shows we're moving in the right direction. Um, so yeah, that's the positive. What was the, uh, what was the mood like in the dressing room at the end of the game? Yeah, really, we're all really disappointed. Um, I've looked back at the goals and, and that's made us even more disappointed or frustrated. Uh, uh, yeah, disappointed. As I said, they've worked so hard to get into this position and, uh, and we've let it slip today. Um, but there'll be other games where we've got to keep working hard and hopefully the next game we win and then we'll keep moving up that league. So at least, uh, at least there's lots of positives in the last five games, six games in the league. Uh, we understand you won't want to mention names, but the media during the week was talking about various trialists that are currently with the club. Yeah. Can you tell the fans anything in terms of even how they're getting on? Yeah, listen, we're working extremely hard behind the scenes. Uh, there's trialists coming and going, you know. We, as, as I've said all along, we need to look at everybody. We can't turn our nose up at anything that's getting offered to us, especially out of player contracts at the moment, people potentially for January. Um, and we'll continue to do that. There's, there's no, no substance to us signing anybody at the moment. Um, but we are looking and we want to strengthen the team in different areas of the park um, I've said that all along so <laughs> we're just going to continue to do that but yeah that's where we are that's where we are and just finally of course another tough game we're back here at the Falkirk Stadium next week against Morton um, you have as you said given yourself a chance now are you, are you almost surprised at the, the progress that has been made over the last five or six weeks ahead of that game. Yeah, absolutely. But listen, the, the, we take the standout smear out of this. The, the last five or six games, you know, we, we've been unbelievably competitive in every game and we've been unfortunate in games. We've been a little bit fortunate, but that's the nature of this league. You look at the results, we had a horrific start to the season. And we've come from zero points and we're on 12 now. And if we can continue that, that we're go then we'd all be delighted. Um, and if we can keep improving the quality of the club, then we'll all be delighted and we'll all move in the right direction. It's just a bit frustrating today being 2 nothing up in, in, in a big game that we've let it slip. But as I said, I'm going to give the players credit because they've had to they've had to work hard to get into this position and they're as disappointed as everybody else today. And uh, as you said, uh, yeah, but listen, we just have to move on to the next game. Ray, as always, thanks for your time. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much.